What's up, man? I got the uh, Seth Wilson that you asked for, the HGA. Uh, yeah, the pretty, the pretty one. Yeah, cool. Yeah, man, it's gonna be a great time. Let's go. Let's do this. How much? Uh, how do I pay you? Yeah, man, that's cool. We can do like, cash out, Venmo, PayPal. Uh, PayPal, friends and family works for me. No, nah, man, I only do PayPal uh, goods and services. I got, I got scam ones, so no, nah, man, only goods and services. Oh, my bad, man. I get it. It sucks, man. Scam is out there. fucking sucks. But yeah, goods and services works. Are you okay covering the fee? No, nah, man. Why would I cover the fee, man? You're, I'm, I'm paying you. Why would I cover the fee? That's stupid. What? Uh, yeah, that's fine, man. Uh, here's my uh, PayPal email. Just send it to me whenever you get a chance. All right, cool. All right, man. I send it. Thanks. Hey, buddy. Getting uh, ready to ship out. Can I have your uh, address and email? You can use your email on Pirate Ship, it gives you updates on the, on the shipping on it. Hey bro, why are you asking for my email? If you're asking for my address, just ship my card, man. I already pay you. I should have, you know, that's why I pay goods and services, man. You acting kind of shady right now. Bro, I need your address so I can ship the car and your email to send you updates. Bro, I'm not gonna give you my address nor my email, okay, man? Just ship my car, man. Man, if I see you in real life, man, you think you tough, man. You think you tough. What the fuck? You know what? I'll just refund you. I mean, we are officially recording. Welcome to In The Box Collection. I am your host, Francis. How are you doing, Andrew? Ah, oh, doing good. What's going on? Football time, return of football. That's right, man. It's my first year not playing fantasy football, and I'm pretty sad about it, but it's okay. You're not though. in any leagues at all? No, I'm not. I'm pretty sad about it, but it's okay, though. We're not We're not going to talk about my sadness. We're, this is in the box collection. Uh, week one football. We're going to pick him with the boy Andrew from Bubblegum and Leather. Please check him out. Uh, we'll take 30 seconds, man. What's what's new in your life? What's, give us uh, 30 seconds, 160 characters of what's popping with Bubblegum and Leather and then Mr. Andrew. Oh, we've got a basketball sale going on in tonight uh ebay always popping right bubblegum and leather ebay store uh strong up to 800 items but got some breaks this weekend what's going on at in the box collection uh just ebay for the time being we just finished our fire sale so we're just gonna hit up ebay for the weekend and kick back so let's talk some football nfl week one i got the schedule put up right here and we're just gonna pick them starting out with tonight's game uh, we don't have to go very much into depth unless you want to go into depth by the Bengals because I know you're a Bengals fan. But overall, I'm not a ba- Why do you – it's just like your Malcolm Brogdon thing. I'm not even a Bengals fan. Why does everyone think that? I don't know. It's, it's just – it's in the air, you know? I live I, in I, Cincinnati. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I have to be a Bengals fan. I was so salty last night when you guys were going off about Chris Middleton and those cars. I was so salty. So, you know what? Uh, Let's get it going. All uh, right. Thursday All right, night here football. we go. Actually, me and me and Ange, uh, me and Luis did Thursday night football, but we can pick them right now. So, who you got? Cowboys, Buccaneers. Well, tonight, uh, normally I don't pick the defending Super Bowl champ because I think that it's like kind of a letdown game. But I'm gonna go and pick the Buccaneers tonight because it's like the first game that's gonna have a bunch of fans at it, and I feel like that's the true. atmosphere is just gonna be like off the chain. So I, I'm going with the Buccaneers, not really because I really think they're like way better than the Cowboys I just think the atmosphere makes the difference what do you what do you think plus I do want to see how Dak plays like having not played for a while am I the only person that doesn't is not clear where Dak is going to start or not like to me it hasn't been very clear at all well they didn't talk about it much but it he's like all good to go uh, from what I've heard that's all they say though they don't say anything else all they say is like he's good to go good like, to go well yeah I mean, going? That's, yeah they're <laughs> being a little like, secretive yeah like, like where are we going bro but uh i want the cowboys to win i don't think it's gonna happen but i'm gonna pick the cowboys um if that plays bring the cowboys i got a buddy of mine that put 500 dollars on the under so 500 on the under minus 10 on the under. so good luck to him i'm picking the cowboys to win mostly because i don't know i'm Full salty, full hater on the Buccaneers. Uh, hey, do you the do next... the yeah? Do you do the fan duel or like the DraftKings? They don't. They don't allow me to do it in the state of Idaho. They don't allow any type of game. Even like so just sucks. like the player one, not the betting. Not, not wow. Nothing. It sucks. Nothing. I have to. I have. To you, is that like the only better. state that doesn't allow any of it? Probably, man. Which is probably <laughs> for the best because knowing me, like 
like I have bought a hobby box off of like a reflect, you know? So knowing me and I have like a good feeling about a spread, I would, oh my God. The three months that they allowed it, I made some really good money and I got in trouble at work. Like my boss came and talked to me, hey, bro, you should probably not be betting while you're at work. And I'm like, hey, bro, I am winning while at work. That's right. Yeah. To get credit to your talent, <laughs> multitasking. <Right. laughs> All right. We'll start out. We'll go, we'll go to the right. Eagles versus Falcons, Battle of the Birds. Um, I. I just want to see Jalen Hurts play. I'm oh, me too. Hurts. That's definitely what I'm excited about in this game. Like, for, yeah, sure, is, for sure. That's the only thing to watch. I mean, I, do I really care about the game? No. Do I really think it's going to be an exciting game? No. But Jalen Hurts playing. I guess I'm excited about Jalen Hurts. Yeah. What about you? I, well, I mean, there's really not anything super exciting about the Falcons except for Kyle Pitts, I think. You know, like everyone else we kind of have seen before. A lot of people are excited about Calvin Ridley this year, though, now that Julio is gone. Um, I don't know. But I in this game, I'll just get <laughs> to it. In this game, I got the Eagles. I was both picking the Eagles. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Calvin Ridley, like what? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, <laughs> we're you, just you don't, you're not a believer? You don't like him? Uh, Steelers versus Bills. I'm picking the Bills off the bat. Um, I am not a believer in Calvin Ridley. No, I'm not. I'm not a believer. I was not dismissing your comment, but I, I'm not a believer. I'm sorry, Calvin. Sorry. Uh, yeah, third, his family is mad at you now. Yeah, so is HGA because I guess my older is the only one that's 60 days and it's not coming back to me, but whatever. Moving on to the Steelers versus the Bills. Um, take number two. So. Take two. <laughs> Uh, Big Ben, you said he was going to play forever. Tell me more. I'm picking the Bills. Like, there's no way I'm going to pick against Josh Allen. Yeah, I'm taking the Bills too um, in the game. But I was just like trying to figure out like why would Ben ever retire? Like, it seems like he could just stand back there and like pipe passes forever because you're not yeah. even allowed to hit anyone anymore, right? So no, like, you can't even breathe on people. Yeah. Even Tom Brady was complaining about it. It's like Tom Brady's like guys like we are rewarding the offense for like just sitting. Yeah. There. And Tom Brady's like, I mean, he's like obviously very fit. I'm not knocking him, yeah. but like, he's so not one guy that's huge, not like a uh, big Ben. Yeah. He's not like a giant human. No. And this Tom Brady's like the one guy who should not be like talking about getting hit either. He's like, dude, yeah, he's like, the, one. gets the most favorable calls of anyone ever. Right. Um, how big would Josh Allen be without a, without like a Patrick Mahomes in the league or a Baker Mayfield. Like Josh Allen is legit. Dude is legit. He is, to me, yeah. he's legit. But I, I mean I, I or if he even played like on one of the more popular teams, like imagine if he was like on the Cowboys or something. Or for the I'd Bengals. Be, probably be like really even more popular. But his cards right. are pretty popular. I'm happy about it. I got um, the Bills too if I didn't say that. Yeah, I'm going I'm going Bills. Going both Bills? I like it. Uh Jets, Panthers um, don't get me wrong. I have no idea who the Panthers QB is, but oh, this Jets, is the Sam Darnold bowl. Oh, for real? Yeah, Sam man. Darnold is playing week one against it. Oh yeah. He did get traded to the, or he did sign with the Panthers. Um, he's going to be out for revenge or, or he might just catch a cold and be out. For yeah, like that's true. Just kidding. Oh, so my lights I'm, just turned back I'm on. Right. I've got a little light issue. So yeah, oh, that's nice. how it's going my, here, man. Oh, oh, my lights are automatic, man. I think every time we record, we always have some type of issues. So, like, today is going pretty smoothly. So, I'm not even complaining. I'm yeah, I'm just going to, like, flicker on and off, though, sometimes. Yeah. Like, I'll look like I'm in a cave sometimes. So. All right. Oh, I got the uh, the Sack Wilson HGA 9.5. I have that. So, I'm going to go with the Jets because I'm going to throw that on eBay because Facebook, is, you know, some things happen on Facebook that don't really happen anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. Jets, Sack well, Wilson. I, I'm going to go with Jets, too, here. I don't think Sam gets it done. Sam is not the man in this case. <laughs> Sam is not the man. Uh, Vikings, Bengals. Um, do we don't even talk about the Vikings anymore? Like, not even about Justin Jefferson, great rookie season, and we just gotta say they're a team that offense. should be better than they are. Like, there's some teams that like are good, and you don't understand why. But the Vikings have Dalvin Cook and two good receivers, and I guess just because Kirk Cousins stinks, I don't know. Is that what it is? 
that is exactly what it is, man. That is exactly what it is. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a Kirk Cousins fan, so I feel like he got overpaid. I feel like he's ruining that team, but whatever. I'm gonna pick the. I'm gonna. Is pick there the anyone who makes more money whose cards are worth less than Kirk Cousins? Uh Anthony Davis. Yeah. Well, I, Kirk might make more. Kirk might have got uh, paid. I, don't, I think he made what he uh, one of the highest paid QBs, right? How much is Russell Wilson making? I don't know. His cards are worth good money, though. Yeah, they're okay. I mean, they yeah. sell. So we're going borrow your boy borrow. Yeah, so I'm picking the Bengals here in an upset. I, actually, they might even be favored. I don't know. I, I would be surprised. But I, yeah, I'm yeah. going Bengals. I think they come out hot, um, and I think they lean mm. strong on the running game. Oh, Minnesota minus 3.0 over and under 47. So hmm. who knows, man? Should be a fun game. Who, are, who do you uh, have in that one? I'm taking I'm taking Burrow. I got a couple Burrow cards that I'm trying to sell. Actually, are you I just going to pick all the games based on which cards you have? I Just like I pick my games on Fantasy Football, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I need a big game from Burrow so that way we can sell some of his stuff. Uh, 49ers and the Lions. Who are the Lions? Who's the Lions? QB? Uh, is that Jared Goff? Yeah, it's just Jared Goff. Former Super Bowl uh, appearing quarterback, not winning quarterback. But man, it, can you imagine? Like, is there a more lopsided who you're excited to see QB matchup? Like, I, I cannot wait to watch Trey Lance if he plays. I don't know if Garoppolo will play, but whatever. And then I don't think anyone's ever excited to watch Jared Goff, are they? Like, I've never heard anyone go, "Man, you got to watch a game tonight." Like Jared Goff's on. No, not Sean McVay wasn't even like that. Sean McVay was like, "All right, Jared Goff, you're starting because we need somebody to like." hike the ball to give it to Todd Gurley. Right. But you're not really playing, but you're playing. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go with the 49ers because they're trying to shop Jimmy, so we will not see Trey Lance for a while because they're trying to get something out of Jimmy, which right. I mean, Jimmy might still well, that's have That's actually why I'm going to pick the Lions because I think there's too much drama going on in, in the San Francisco area, so I'm yeah. picking Lions there. That defense would be hard. Are we writing about these it. down or are we just like, we just kind of shoot? We probably okay. should. We probably should. I'm not, but we probably, you know, I might just listen to it, go back to it and write it, write down the picks so that we can, <laughs> I'll make a little chart sheet, see who your team, team uh, in the box or team uh, bubble gum. That works. All right. Uh, so we, we're now to Mr. Number one draft pick. Uh, what's his name? Trevor Lawrence. This is kind of um, like that other game because it's against what? Tyrod Taylor. So you yeah. got Trevor Lance and Jared Goff, and then you have Trevor Lawrence and Tyrod Taylor. And like the only thing I bet you the announcer, the only thing I'm gonna talk about is Deshaun Watson. Like what aside from of course Trevor Lawrence throwing a couple is of Is he gonna be there? Because if he's there, that's all they're gonna do is just like keep showing that uh, shot of him on the sidelines, <laughs> like standing there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say something really fucked up, but I didn't get a chance to say it because I don't know. But uh, in regards to the Sean Watson and the whole rumor trading concept, I think you also talked about this going to the Patriots. In my opinion, for the Sean Watson, that going to the Patriots will be the perfect place for him. They already have experiences dealing with their managers or having issues at massage parlors with massagers. So if he goes to the Patriots, like it's set, like it will, he will start. He's got to, an owner that will yeah. fully support him. Like, your lawyer will be going to showing up to work and be like, oh, Deshaun Watson, bro, I got you, man. Um, it's like, yeah. you'll have to hear about the work I did with Mr. Kraft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still surprised that nobody, like, it was gone. Like, it was, stop. okay. Yeah it, uh, yeah, it went away. So he should go yeah. there. Like, his lawyer should be telling him, like, Deshaun, request a trade and get the same lawyer as Bobby Kraft did. Yeah, like, just – you might even come on a team discount, you know. He might get like a, like a team discount or some shit. <laughs> That's so fucked up. My bad. Oh, so who I, are we picking? Are you on the I, Texans? I want to go with the Jack. I just feel like the Texans have. That's another team with like way too many issues. Plus, let's be honest here. Nobody in the Texans team is actually good, aside from Tyrod Taylor, right? Yeah, and, I mean, I I don't think I can name more than two players on the whole damn team. So Will yeah, Fuller, Andre Johnson. I don't even. Know Will Fuller's not on the team anymore. No, you know what? Nope. I'm exactly. You know what? You know what? Let's not even. They got no one. I don't yeah, like. I, don't I couldn't name. Them. I know they have a, a Kenny. Uh, Kenny Stills. Is it Kenny Stills? He used to play for the Saints. Brandon Cooks. Yeah. 
They have Brandon Cooks. <laughs> We go from Kenny Stills to Brendan Cooks. The Saints have had like a thousand wide receivers in the past ten oh, years. I get them all mixed yeah. up. Okay, so they have Brandon Cooks, and I don't know uh, who else. Not, I don't think I can name anyone else. I know Jay. Uh, okay, so Philip Lindsay, Mark Phillip Ingram. Lindsay came from the Broncos. Okay, Anthony Miller. I think he came from Chicago. Yeah, I don't know anybody in this place. Like, who is Chris Cooley? Conley? Chris Conley? Danny Amendola is in there. I swear, I Danny he Amendola. retired. <laughs> yeah, I thought he retired. Uh, he is to 2015. He's been in the league for a while, I guess. Uh, oh. Here's I'm your chance, for Chris, you. for a breakout yeah. year. Get it done, Mr. Conley. Get it done. All right. All right well, I'm going to pick the Jaguars, given that I can't name like anyone else on the team. So yeah, I mean, James Robinson is completely underrated. Um, Lavisca should know it's a bees. I mean. The Jacks. I mean, Trevor Lawrence has all the weapons that he, he should be good. And a new coach. And they don't have Tim Tebow. So that's like, put, gives him like five. That's a team that should sign Tim Tebow, though, is the Texans. Because, like, they're like they're terrible. I mean, at least that would, like, make people want to watch him. Mate, Tim Tebow sells jerseys. I would sign Tim Tebow to any team to sell jerseys and put people yeah. out. He doesn't have to And play. just get, like, your social media account would blow. I mean, there'd be a hundred good things that would come from it. Whatever. Now, now I'm mad. We need to keep picking games. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Team two is going to go back to the Mets. Uh, Seattle Seahawks versus the Colts. This is a good game. This should be a good There's game. There's a lot of, like, crap games. I mean, Steelers-Bills is good, but, like, this is a good game. This is probably going to be, like, the game of the weekend. Maybe maybe the Browns against the City. Um, I'm going to pick the Seahawks based on the fact they are a little bit more seasoned. And I feel like the Colts are going to fight it out, though. Like, it's going to be a close game. This is probably, I'm going to watch this game for sure. Actually, I can't, but whatever. I'm going to try to. Yeah, it makes, it's interesting. If it was in Seattle, I would pick the Seahawks for sure. I, I still yeah. think I'm going to pick them, but I bet you that comes down to the wire. That's a very hot take. That's going to be a hot <laughs> game. I, it's, it's, it's going to be such a good game. So it's the, the Colts have proven to win. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter who's there. They can win. Um, yeah, they seem they like say, one of those teams that just like it's kind of like the Spurs in basketball. Yeah. Like they're just really well run, and even when their players kind of stink, they still seem to be decent. I don't know. Yeah, I swear to God, man, there was like three weeks uh, last year, maybe the day before, and they went through three different quarterbacks and won all three games. Yeah, like Jacoby I, Brissett, you're right. They can just change it out. Brian Hoyer was there for a couple of weeks. Yep. Yeah, it was it was beautiful. So I'm picking the I'm picking the uh, the Seahawks though. Me too, and a close one. In a close one. Uh, Titans versus Cardinals. Is this the year that somebody's going to, like, stop Derrick Henry? Or no, just going to run into the ground? Like, no? I don't know. I mean, he's he, – he. wow. If there's a running back like that is a true throwback, it's definitely him. Like, he reminds me of the running backs from when we were kids, like Jerome Bettis and, you know, oh. Curtis Martin and some of those bigger guys. But, like – I am more excited to watch Kyler Murray. I'm like all in on him this year. So I, I think this is going to be a good game too. And I'm going to go out on a limb and pick the Cardinals in an upset. I'm taking the Cardinals too. I don't think there comes a point in time that you have to change up your formula and that's going to be the Titans this year. Um, you can't, you can't do it anymore. Plus the Cardinals, man, JJ Watt, they have a young squad. They have the Andrew Hopkins. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I and I like the is- little running back out of Purdue. Is I think I mean, yeah, they got a lot of good pieces. Yeah, I'm Cardinals are like one of my favorite teams right now. All right, man. So moving on to the next game, it's gonna be the Chargers versus the Washington. Uh, we got we don't really know anything. We just take number two as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we don't really know anything about the Washington football team, but yeah, basically we the only conclusion we came to is that they have some decent players, but their quarterback is Ryan Fitzpatrick, who I think we both said was like super fun to watch, but maybe isn't like the best ever. No man, you don't. Pikachu is a shitty fucking Pokemon, right? Pikachu is a shitty fucking Pokemon. Kind of right? like the most generic one. Yeah, right. It doesn't do fucking anything, right? It doesn't even talk, right? But. Ryan Fitzpatrick is Pikachu. You can't have Pokemon without Pikachu. You can't have football well, yeah. without Ryan Fitzpatrick. I, it wouldn't be the same if he wasn't on a team. I agree. I'd, I hope he never retires too. Like you know, he's out there like yeah. Big Ben when he's fifty-five. But I'm not picking the Redskins to win here. I'm I'm yeah. on the Chargers. I mean, think about this. This is how great Ryan Fitzpatrick is. 
we're here looking at the game, the Chargers, which is the Washington football team. We're not worried that they don't have a team. I mean, they don't have a team name. We're not even talking about year two for Justin Herbert. No, we're talking about Fitz Magic. There you go. I mean, of course, we're not picking the Washington football team. We're picking the Chargers. Fuck yeah. Like, why? But <laughs> Justin Herbert, Brian Fitz Magic. Do you think, is there any sophomore slump for Herb? That's a good question for this game. You see that um, happening, or you think he keeps it going? I think he's very well coached, and we saw that last year. He's very well coached. And I think that is extremely important that he's very well coached. Like, And I think that would really help him out. So we will see. I don't think so. But, yeah, Chargers. Chargers. All right. Uh, Browns versus Kansas City Chiefs. This is another going to be another good game, honestly. This is probably the last game that we should watch that night. Yeah, I've got yeah. the Chiefs big. Like, I, I think the Browns are overhyped. I got the. I bet the Chiefs win by three touchdowns. Damn! 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 Three touchdowns? Three yeah, touchdowns? I, I don't know. Twenty points. Whatever. Twenty-one plus. Let me let me mess with this, bro. Look me in the eye and tell me you said three touchdowns. Yeah, I, th- I think the Chiefs get them three touchdowns or more. What's the spread? It's probably like a seven-point <laughs> line. Uh, Browns, Chiefs, is spread over and under 54.5. Kansas City, minus 5.5. Five. Ooh, yeah. That's less than I would have thought. Yeah, I got, I have the that Chiefs is, coming out and making a statement. Is, you know, it's a little less than three touchdowns, right? Just a little bit. Oh, Six. I didn't say the line was 21. I said that's what they were going <laughs> by. Yeah, I man, bet. I'm putting the Browns on notice. I think they stink. I think they're going to get exposed this year. I don't want to pick against Baker Mayfield because I like Baker Mayfield and I like the Browns, but I'm going with the Chiefs. Like, I don't think it's a three touchdown win, but I think the Browns won't kick it into gear to like the fourth quarter when it's too little too late. All right. That's fair. I, you're much more likely to be right. Mine was a bold prediction. I like, I, I was like, like my Stephen A. Max Kellerman, <laughs> you know. Uh, ever since Max Kellerman is out, I feel like. No, everyone's talking about that on Twitter. Like, some people really liked him. I never watched the show. I just feel like the chemistry was really, really good. Like, you can't you can't double the chemistry that Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman had. Like, regardless of the argument, their chemistry and the way they debated things, it was, it was entertaining. Well, maybe they should hire you. Uh, they should hire the both of us. We'll be second take. That's right. We don't argue enough, though. We agree too much. We'd have yeah, to argue like, more. Yeah, but yeah, fuck the Bengals. So All moving right, on so to we the next one. got the Chiefs. <laughs> yep. Then we so have speaking of uh, Dolphins and Pats. Yeah. Speaking of the sophomores, Mr. Tua versus Mr. Mac Jones. Man, I really like Tua. I don't. I don't think many people believe. I really. I. I don't know. I like all the quarterbacks from last year. I like Hurts, Tua, Burrow, and Herb. I like the way Tua sells, but I saw all my Tua early on. I saw Tua PSA 10 for like $800. I'm like, brah, you got to go. Faith in Tua. <laughs> um, I, hey, I don't blame you. I sold a bunch of PSA 10 herbs, but I still like them. We can yeah. like – see, that's where you're de- – you only like people that you have their cards. <laughs> Not necessarily. Not really. I like uh, – You should – no wonder you have mad love for Chris Middleton since you have a 1,000 cards. That makes sense. Yeah, now I'm I get it. I'm going to my mouth. I didn't – I shipped your stuff today. I didn't even put any Chris Middleton cards in. Okay, let's get back to this. We're not talking about Chris now. All right, Chris back right to now. it. Dolphins picking, and Pats. Yeah, I'm picking the Who Dolphins. Who do you have? I, I got the Dolphins. I feel like this is a smart, safe pick. It's not going to be a very exciting game, I don't think. I agree. I can. I feel like it's going to be like a low-scoring kind of like ugly game. Um, but I got the Pats, just like a close good. game, but I got the Pats. I mean, I just don't think that Mac Jones is ready to fully take over. Like he'll first get a culture shock, get hit a couple of times, and then like wake up to the NFL pace. I, yeah. I mean, I can see that. He might really struggle, but uh, I don't know. Like the Dolphins are another one of those teams that have an awesome defense, but I'm not for sure why because – I only know like Xavier and Howard. I don't know like a ton of their individual defensive players, but they have a stout defense and they're well coached. So I bet that, you know, they're probably the favorite in that game, but I'm just going to pick the Pats by a little close game. Uh, ooh, New England minus three. Oh, New, New England, England is favored. Wow. Ah. 
minus no love for your for your dolphins there man just not man i mean i don't know anybody in the team but uh yeah it's a safe pick uh mr green bay versus the saint i don't think this is going to be a fun game to watch i feel like if you have uh aaron Rodgers on your fantasy team you start him this is the game i think he's going to get big points against oh, the, yeah. the saints d there's nobody on that d that can stop it and that offense is like just I Doesn't mean, it feel like too, when Jameis used to play, the games are always like 45 to 38? Like, so maybe that's what it's going to be like for the Saints this year. Maybe, maybe so. But at the same time, like, you don't. Drew Brees retired way too soon for the Saints. Like, you don't, there's no faith there. Like, I, maybe it's just me, but I don't actually have faith in the Saints, which is really weird saying it. That way. No, I mean, I, I don't think a lot of people are picking them to, like, come out of the NFC, especially given that they play in the same division as uh, the Buccaneers, you know. But, yeah. um, like, I I think they're a big question mark because it's been well before her, her uh, like, since Hurricane Katrina when uh, Drew Brees wasn't the quarterback there. Like, that's going to seem weird to even see someone else playing quarterback for them do you think they go to Taysom Hill at all uh I want to say yes they'll use it the same way they used them last year which is that the random packages I think that's the reason why the only reason okay first of all the only reason why I would have started uh James Winston is because you don't have to change your game plan or your package with everybody else right right because you still you can still put Taysom Hill out there at the tight end at the wide receiver. He's a package deal. He's not a true QB. That's, he doesn't have a position. I kind of feel the same, Francis. Yeah. Like when they a lot of people were saying they were gonna go with him, and I I kind of found that hard to believe. But I was like, no, man, Jameis Winston is starting. At least Jameis can throw the ball. He throw prayers to Michael Thomas, who's not gonna be he's, there. But he, he's fun to watch, though. Like you can't deny. Like whether you think he's good or bad, he like does some of the weirdest things that you see. A quarter. Like yeah. he'll throw off his back foot all the time, it's, and like he don't he doesn't care. It's the awkward guy, you know. It's like it's just an awkward guy playing football. Yeah, he's just got a lot of talent, so he gets away with it. You know, sometimes, yeah. sometimes, sometimes not. But I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go with Green Bay there. Yeah, I'm going to go with Green Bay, too. Also, like, with James Winston, like, you want to see him succeed because his development as a person since he was in college and how he you're, has come. You're, like, using the air quotes. Am I? Am I? I don't. Yeah, okay, cool. So, uh, <laughs> Packers. <laughs> All right. Uh, Broncos, Giants? No? Peyton versus Eli. Oh, no, wait. Never uh, mind. No. Uh, we got Eli Jr. versus whoever the quarterback for the Broncos is. It's not Drew Locke. Um, it's it's the other guy. <laughs> the other, he doesn't even have a name. He's just the it's other guy. It's not Drew Locke. We'll do it this way. Um, The other guy. Who is the other guy? Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy oh, Two Gloves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was, uh, they interviewed him when he was practicing with – his old team um i like teddy bridgewater another like it's a cinderella story i just have this is so great we're like looking up who teams quarterbacks are like while well, we're picking the games <laughs> let's, be, let's be honest here let's be honest here nobody really cares about the broncos jerry Judy, not right now von miller bradley chubb that's it yeah all their all their big players are defensive players i guess uh jerry judy jerry judy from last year also, it's like way too early to go into death to be like, yeah, man, Jerry Judy running a slant, being thrown by Teddy Bridgewater, <laughs> who, yeah, it's way too Doesn't soon. seem like a Super Bowl contender to me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just based on that comment that you just made, I'm going to pick the Giants. <laughs> uh, I'm picking against baby Eli. Um, oh, man. Ernie, rest in peace, Ernie, by the way. I, I think, think Saquon's going to have a big year. There's my big Giants hot take. I think he's going to like – everyone forgot he's, about how good he was. I don't – I I don't even know, man. They said that he's – that's another guy. They're like, oh, yeah, he's ready. Saquon is ready. And we don't know if but we're he going to – Then he never plays. Yeah, we don't know if we're going to Applebee's or if we're going to that Mexican place with the, like, the sketchy stuff. Like, you know. I we, get we it. We take our chances. Like, I don't know. 
I just like I just feel like there's always like a couple guys that you forget about and then they come back and you're like, golly, why did I I could have bought Shohei Otani is a good one. Like, oh, I could have yeah. bought all his cards for cheap. Yeah. Last year Saquon cards were so cheap and now they're already going back up and uh so point is I'm picking the Giants. I always thought Otani was gonna be bigger than my trout, but the only Otani that I had was like a random silver. So I would have kept my Otani. I the thing about Otani is it's like the dude is doing something on a team that doesn't really matter what he does. They're not worried about tying him out. They need to sell tickets and win some games. The Angels, right. they, uh, man, I put it in a comment somewhere. Give me a second. I, gotta, I put it in a comment somewhere. Like, how come we're not talking about Otani and how Otani actually is? Well, my trout may never be. I didn't want right. to say it because my trout was like always injured, but like Otani is like, we should talk about that as well. Oh, you would get like attacked by everyone on social media. You can't say anything bad about Mike Trout on social media. Yeah. You'll have like a thousand people coming after you. He's the best player of all time. His war is so high. <laughs> well, hey, man, I know Stephen A. Smith just listened to this podcast because so on first take tomorrow, I know he's going to be like, yo, shout out to the boy Francis, who's going to blackball him because he has great ideas. But we're going we're gonna to talk about Otani. We, we managed to take a football podcast and talk about him. We only have two games left, though. Bears, um, Rams. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sunday night. Is Justin Fields starting? No, right? No, Andy Dalton. That one I know. I, that one cool. we don't have to look up. And I know who plays for the Rams, too. Matt Stafford is their <laughs> quarterback. <laughs> we don't have to look up either of those. Is Dancing with the Stars still on Sunday? So when is that? I, that you would know so much better. You're gonna There's blame Tessie or some BS, but I know you probably watch that on your own. Nah, I watch my novellas, man. Um, the handmade stuff. I'm not watching this game. If Justin Fields not playing, I'm not watching the Bears. That does seem like a game that I'm not likely to watch. Like if it's Andy no. Dalton versus Matt Stafford, I I don't think. Well, I probably will. <laughs> but, but whatever. If it, was, if it was Jay Color, then yeah. But no, I'm no. going with the Rams because they're at home. I don't feel strongly about that one. I'm going to go with the Bears just to go against your pick, but this doesn't really matter for anybody. It's not. The last one's kind of fun because it's the new stadium, like that brand new Las oh, Vegas. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm definitely picking the Ravens in the new stadiums. I have no faith in the Oakland Raiders. I'm sorry, Oakland Raiders. Oh, me. Like, I'm helpful. picking the Ravens. But I'll probably watch that just to see, like, how cool the new stadium looks with fans in it. In fact, when my wife and I were in Vegas, they had just kind of started – building it and it looks like a spaceship if you've never seen it it's pretty cool i'm gonna have to google it do a little tour, google tour have dell have dell uh, go in there and do a little tour of it um i'm going with the ravens even though i guess three of their running backs are hurt now i heard gus edwards got hurt today too i don't know so jacob Thomas is out Dervani is sketchy and gus edwards is out and they traded Mark Ingram, or they, or they let Mark Ingram go to the Washington Yeah, they let him go. Team? I guess they signed Levy and Bell. Does that make you excited? Are you a big what? believer in Levy and Bell? Uh, no. Like, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Levy and Bell and Antonio Brown, they had the good life with the Steelers. And yep, they were like, they screwed it up, man. Yeah, Talk about like, getting greedy. <laughs> right? It's like, bro, you have the good life. And, like, and then they both kind of seemed like they went nuts when they left. Like, yeah. you know, I don't know. Maybe they're all – Big Ben seems a little nuts, too. Maybe that is the theme there. But they win sometimes. They do win together. until they leave. Not, not in the playoffs, but it doesn't really matter. They were <laughs> – just kidding. And they have. I mean, like, not super recent, but, you know, I don't know. I hate the Steelers, so I'm um, picking the uh, Ravens in that game. It sounds like Ravens, you are, too. I just want to see how Lamar Jackson is going to do. I feel like – he took a hit in the face last year, and I feel like this is a big year for him, for him like a bounce back year to me. I like I can see that. All right, man. So that's all the games. Obviously, we did not write them all down, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to beat you. So there was no point in writing it down anyway. We picked like I think the only game we picked differently was probably like the. <laughs> we only had like four different, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, so, it's okay. Cool. We'll go for those fours. All right, man. Well. Uh, this is in the box collection. It's your boy Francis. I'm gonna make some Edison cuts for it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Comment your picks, and let us know who had the best arguments between the both of us. Because yeah, if if I can't go head to head with you in football picks, at least tell us whose hot takes were better. Obviously mine. Like, have you seen my flow? Okay. Oh, I'm not competing <laughs> with you in the looks department, just the hot takes department. So hot takes department. Mr. Three touchdowns. I can't wait. 
Uh, all right, man. Well, I hope you have a great day. Uh, it's almost game time kickoff in a couple hours. So um, this is Boy Francis, the host of In the Box Collection. Thank you, Andrew, for coming over to the show from Bubba Gum and Leather, taking some time off for your day. Um, thanks, man. Good Thank you, man. You. Enjoy the game. You guys go check out his YouTube channel as well. I'll make sure to link on it. Good night. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is In the Box Peace. Collection. Deuces.